this is only a very very small vlog related to the earlier videos and then especially the oscillator circuit that I published in an earlier video and I will give the link to the schematic uh, of that properly working very properly working oscillator in the text box of this video um, and I had to find out again um, a certain frequency band perhaps that's interesting to tell uh, I did experiments and I found I could make say this frequency table and it the oscillator were properly no problems with that but I found that here there is a kind of gap and that the gap is between 2.4 and 2.8 megahertz so uh, I had to do a small adaptation for switch 4 here on the front and I have to find out a coil uh, for that frequency band say between 2 and 3 mega cycles and I want to show how you can do that uh, uh, this is only an example that means that um, when you have for instance on such a piece of ferrite more windings you go to lower frequencies and when you have less windings you go to higher frequencies so you can see here that, it, that there are for instance say approximately three windings and here you see on which frequency I am and it is on 10 megahertz so this is only a demo so these three windings here give 10 say 10 megahertz and now I'm going to wind much more say much more of this part of the of the coil say that loose part also blue and let's see what the effect will be so I uh, dewind the coil it's going to do now so this is the core a simple piece of ferrite doesn't have to be a piece of ferrite you can also make coils on all kinds of other forms uh, open air coils with a, without any uh, ferrite but anyway this is for the demo and perhaps interesting to show that uh, this simple piece of wire here without any core so not with not wound on this core uh, core ferrite core makes that the oscillator works on 10.6 megahertz anyway uh, that only shows that the uh, uh, say the oscillator uh, is working properly again here that co core of ferrite I now wind that ferrite completely perhaps it's interesting to show to look at the same time at the oscilloscope so that you can see the frequency change uh, we are now on 10.6 megahertz this is somewhat closer so you can see it better this was that blue waveform sorry waveform that blue a uh, piece of wire on 10.7 megahertz approximately say 15 centimeters and now I'm going to wind it up on that ferrite rod and of course that will mean that the frequency goes down substantially because the um, ferrite material uh, adds enormous to the inductance and now we are on 7.4 uh, megahertz you see, see that coil that now gives out 7.4 megahertz and now I'm again re 
winding, not rewinding, but taking the core out of the windings and say that will you, you see that the frequency difference frequency gets higher and higher and now I'm again in the situation that we have 10.6 megahertz and we have again this blue piece of wire so I think this doesn't need more explanation anyway uh, you can do the same thing uh, for coils on other frequencies uh, with this oscillator uh, between um, 300 kilo cycles and like you see uh, approximately 10.9 mega cycles thanks for watching uh, only say giving an idea about how to make coils that work in a certain frequency band It is in fact all very very easy as long as you have an oscillator that uh, likes to oscillate and then I mean a transistor circuit that likes to oscillate and the field effect transistor circuit that I have used here is in earlier uh, videos it works very good and you can surely use it in shortwave radios and for all kinds of other purposes. Thanks for watching.